The new bevel gear shaft is quite different from the previous one. Being involved with the early investigation of the shaft failure and also the redesign of the new shaft, it absolutely reassures me as they continue their work in this manager. This is probably the safest main gearbox vertical shaft of any helicopter in the world now. The investigation on the EC225 main gearbox bevel gear vertical shaft concluded that the crack initiation in the welded area resulted from the combination of three factors. I was deeply involved in all the activities, first drawings, uh, prototype manufacturing, test of prototype, uh, start of serial manufacturing, uh, discussion with authorities and also first uh, meeting with uh, customer and operator. We were invited along with a number of industry experts to the facilities in Marignan where we walked through the redesign and certification process along with having the opportunity to see the manufacturing and testing of the new bevel gear. We've had various briefings on the the new vertical shaft for the EC-225, some in Marignan and some at the Eurocopter facility in Aberdeen. The active corrosion is mainly due to the presence of corrosion pit and uh, trapped humidity. After having understood that, the modifications were really simple to define, uh, improved surface condition to avoid corrosion pit appearance, uh, simplified geometry and new uh, welding old plug in order to avoid retention area where humidity can be trapped, and flushing of the internal shape of the welding uh, in order to clean uh, this zone. Uh, with all this modification, active corrosion is definitely removed. The new shaft is visually and externally different to its predecessor and it's noticeably, if, if you feel the surfaces, uh, noticeably smoother. It uh, has additional lubrication holes for the oil to get through. It's got four instead of two. Uh, it's much smoother sides. There aren't so many sharp edges as stress concentrators and it's uh, thicker uh, and looks more of more sturdy construction. Uh, we'll certainly fix any of the issues that were raised in the previous failures of that I'm 100% certain. Three kind of tests have been performed with more than 15 shafts used. The first kind of test is fatigue test in order to demonstrate the safety margin of the shaft. The second kind of test is a test in a real main gearbox with more than 200 hours of test performed on a power bench. And the last kind of test is a fly test in order to check the integrity of the shaft and the fly condition. I work on uh, fatigue and the static test for several parts and uh, sub-assemblies. The aims of those tests are to determine the limit life of the parts, to validate uh, the finite element models and to certify the helicopters. My job is to work uh, on the ground test of uh, dynamic components, so mainly uh, rotor and transmissions. We have a different uh, bench test. So we have the main gearbox uh, multipurpose bench that is uh, just behind me. We work on the certification of the component, so it's the security part of the helicopter. Being in charge uh, of the Super Puma on, on the flight test level, uh, I was really involved in all the search for the root cause as well. Besides the fact that modification allow avoiding presence of uh, corrosion pit, and besides the fact that 100% of the shaft will be controlled during the manufacturing process, damage tolerant test uh, has been performed. This test consists to create uh, some damage in the welding area, like scratch and corrosion pit. Uh, the new shaft demonstrates high safety margin with this damage, with no cracks initiation uh, at load three times higher than the load uh, seen in flight. We understood that uh, from the second part of 2014, so they will introduce a new shaft for the main gearbox and uh, definitively the problem will be solved. So we believe that the safety is the first uh, priority for the manufacturer. For the pilot, uh, you won't notice the difference, uh, technically. Uh, the main interest is that it will remove all the additional maintenance and the mode 45 in the cockpit. Uh, so no more uh, limitations, for example. The aircraft will be improved by the new configuration and material specifications of the shaft, of the new shaft.
Bond offshore helicopters operates a fleet of three EC-225s in the North Sea. Uh, Bristow currently operate 20 EC-225s globally. CHC currently has 34 EC-225s operating globally. With the EC-225 we have 11 helicopters, being uh, 9 for offshore operation and the 2 for VIP operation. The EC-225 is the product of choice for the North Sea because of its endurance, its performance, and the pilots are exceptionally happy with the way that it performs. For me, the EC-225 is a safety to fly. For every pilot all over the world, I think the, the dream is to experience EC-225. As a helicopter pilot, I hope that Airbus helicopters can continue to provide us with high quality and safe helicopters like the EC-225. I feel very confident and safe to fly the machine. I hope I'll be flying the machine for the next um, maybe 20 years.